In this version from Shooting From Home, we're shooting black pucks off a piece of plastic. The key is to shoot 5 to 7 pucks as perfectly as you can, then take about a 10 to 20 second rest to refocus. Also notice between each shot there is a 1 to 3 second preparation time to ensure a quality shot. While practicing, get it right first, because in a game you only have a fraction of a second to get it right. Each shot should include quality preparation, shooting the puck as hard as you can, and a great finish. Again, I want to stress taking a brief rest after five to seven shots to ensure a quality shot every time. By shooting too many pucks in a row, it's hard to stay focused. Lack of focus leads to bad habits, bad shots, and missed opportunities. As you can see, by shooting into this shooter tutor tarp, the pucks hit the tarp and fall straight down. In our next shooting at home video, we'll show you different ways to shoot the puck without breaking anything. Try to keep any stick handling prior to shooting at zero. It's just a bad habit that adds to the length of your shot time and is unnecessary. Notice Mason is flexing his stick prior to each shot. This is a good habit to use while practicing to get more comfortable learning how to use the flex of your stick. Yeah. 
Notice Kelly is shooting each shot as hard as he possibly can. This is a great habit to do while practicing, because in a game, you only get one chance and you gotta rip it. Each of these three shooting videos takes just over two minutes to do. Even though 25 shots doesn't seem like a lot, shooting 25 perfect shots means you're shooting at 100%, and that's way better than shooting 100 shots and only having 50 or 60 of them be quality. So two minutes of perfect shooting every day will absolutely make you a better shooter and a better goal scorer. You can easily double or triple your shooting time as long as you're resting every five to seven shots and the quality of your shots is as close to 100% as possible.